Oh my goodness. I need the fire. We need the fire. I gotta get fire. Get the fire. I'm not doing reels. Yeah, we are. This is for the. This is no. for the. No, no. YouTube. Burning splash bag is what it's come to. Stay away! There's bugs everywhere. Splash <laughs> bag. I would say this has been infestation levels. rage has hit its max. I no longer can handle this pumpkin field. At first I thought my only issue was going to be squash bugs. We were doing great. I things were growing. Fighting. But now the cucumber beetle infestation is overwhelming levels and it's starting to affect the flower farm. Flower farm wins. Pumpkins gotta go. All right, well no, throw it. Dale Farm. It is getting close to the end of September and I think this is going to be our last flower field video for the season and there's a couple reasons for that. The first one being we have been inundated with cucumber beetles. I knew what cucumber beetles were. I've had them in small quantities before in other gardens that I've had um, around the states but oh my gosh, do I have cucumber beetles right now. I think it's a combination of the fact that the pumpkin field really attracted them in. And then once we removed the pumpkin field, they were like, great, we're just gonna move into your flower farm. So that was a problem. So big reason why we're just not gonna grow pumpkins again next year. But also cucumber beetles are very much the late summer into fall pest. They showed up in August and they haven't left and there's more and more coming. I've been doing some experiments of trying to figure out how I can control them and like what really kills them. So I'm better prepared next season, but at this point, I'm not gonna be able to get on top of them to salvage enough flowers. A little bit after Labor Day, I had my good gardening master gardener friend Kat come visit. That's when we did the prickly pear syrup and we had some extra hands to tear down the pumpkin field. I just got overwhelmed. The squash bugs were going ham, the cucumber beetles were nuts and it just wasn't an enjoyable space. And so I said, we're done. I harvested as much as I could and I did get some wonderful pumpkins that I'm using as decor for the flower stand in my raised garden. So that, that worked out well, probably not worth the labor that went into it, but I'm still glad I got to enjoy some harvest. And then we ripped out the entire pumpkin field and oh my gosh, was it horrific to actually see what was living underneath all of those vines. Blech. But we cut it all out. We like salted the earth with DE to try to kill the remaining squash bugs so they didn't just like burrow into the ground to wait to ruin my life next year. And we threw it all in a compost corner of the field pretty far away. So the pumpkin field has been gone now for about two, three weeks. And I don't think, yeah, no, pretty much the cucumber beetles all just moved into the flower farm area, which I suspected would happen, but the pumpkin field still needed to go. 
so I'm running some experiments to see what actually will kill them. A lot of organic contact kill options, not because I can think I can win the battle this season, but to be prepared next end of July when they show up, before they show up in like colony level hordes, I can start managing them so I have a better fall harvest. So bugs is a big reason why we're pretty much almost done. And also I'm just tired. We moved here in March. We have done an epic amount, which is so exciting. I think it's been a wonderfully successful year, but our pace has also been really intense. And I'm about ready to wind down. The weather's starting to get a little bit cooler. We're doing more like sit outside by the fire with the kids, wind down less. So I think probably I have a big event next weekend. So the first week of August, I think we're gonna just be clearing all of this out and start dreaming and planning and plotting for the 2023 season. The plan for today, since we're really trying to maximize our Saturdays because Eric's not working and we have extra hands, I've already done my morning harvest, which I typically try to do as the sun is rising because the bees aren't out being angry at me. So I've done that and I'm probably gonna do a spray just to try to kill as many of these little jerks as I can because of my big event that I have next weekend. I want the best flowers possible for that event. But what we're also gonna do is we are gonna officially fully break down the pumpkin field. So we're gonna pull up all the drip irrigation, landscape staples, and fabric. We have decided not to use that field next season. It is at a low point. It held so much water. It was so soggy. There are other considerations to come to mind that I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull it all up, but we'll do some grass reseed and turn it back into looking like the other grass on our property. So today is essentially get that area all buttoned up. And we wanna spread this work out over the course of the fall instead of like at the end of October have a miserable amount of fall to-do list. So Saturday's plan is to fully wrap up the pumpkin field. probably later in November and December, really listing out everything we learned and things we will do or not do next season. But soak in the flower field behind me because this is it. We're probably not gonna film our breakdown since it's not the most exciting and there's just gonna be bugs flying everywhere and a lot of squealing. So we don't really need that as content. Maybe we'll film it, we'll see. But this is the last of the beauty that you get to see. The rest would be, if we filmed it, would just be the massacre, the great massacre of the flowers. But I've thoroughly enjoyed my first season. I've grown more, I've grown and sold more bouquets than I even thought I could do in my first season. And I'm so thankful, but also tons of lessons learned that I look forward to writing down and thinking through over the winter to do even better in our 2023 season.